I'm going to install and design through which is a react and typescript based template and framework so this one is a uh, design pro version 5 beta so we can see how to uh, create it so I'm going to use yarn yarn create umi my app I'm going to use visual studio code here I'm going to go to my folder so yarn create umi my App will be so let's try embed. Okay, and then it will resolve packages. And we have to choose and design pro or app or plugin. I'm going to choose and design pro. And then the version that I'm going to use is pro version 5, the beta one. And then we clone and it's done. So now I can go and open this folder okay so this is the end design pro project and you can see there is a readme here so first we need to prepare our environment we run I use yarn here and this will resolve the packages okay we wait a bit and if you don't have uh, end design pro previously it will download the latest packages as in package.json right and while waiting there are other scripts like uh, start and also build Okay, and then still building some packages that needs to be built. All right, and it's done. After we run yarn, then we can start the project using start. That uh, if you see the package JSON here, you can also see that there's start. There's also start dev for debug. So I'm going to use yarn start dev and also a uh, nice feature of visual studio code is this one debugger attached so you can use this auto attach smart and i think the default is disabled so i would recommend you to turn not turn it to smart so it will auto attach when running scripts that aren't in a node container uh, that aren't in node module folder so basically, all of uh, scripts that uh, that are in your own project. So it will run Webpack to build the uh, React TypeScript app that uses Endesign, also Endesign Pro. And then we can open localhost port 8000 here okay so let's see right now we have endesign so if you see chinese here don't worry you can just change it to english and also to some other languages like indonesian right uh, some of the messages are still untranslated and then if you see here there's a hint admin password is admin and password uh, the username is admin and password is design then you can log in and mm, nope. see okay still not working what is the username? Oh, uh, what's the password? So yeah. OK. 
Okay, this should be correct actually. Method not allowed. So it seems that there is uh, something wrong with the API. Maybe my hunch is because I used yarn start dev. So I'm just going to use the regular yarn start then. I hope then this time it will work. Okay, should be there now. So let me try again. I'm gonna use admin and design and login. Okay, and it works. So it seems that uh, there is additional configuration needed to use uh, Yarn Start Dev. Right, so this is uh, and design. So we have uh, several of the default template pages. There is a demo for uh, NDesign Pro tables. Okay. And this is model. All right. So that's it. That's NDesign Pro, and there are also Pro components. And if you see the documentation, I would say don't worry if sometimes you see like uh, some of the pages are still in Chinese. Let's see which which ones here. Okay, I think it's for the and design and uh, design components, I guess. see okay so this this is for example the documentation for pro card is still in Chinese but yeah you can use uh, Google Chrome to just translate to English I can say that the documentation for and design pro even in Chinese is very very good and very detailed and very structured uh, I really like it all right so that's it. Uh, this is uh, how you create and design for a project. And next time, I'm going to show you how to embed, build and embed an and design pro project into an existing application, especially in WordPress. All right. I hope this is useful.